Alright guys, today we're doing a quick demo for uh, SendGrid and authenticating your domain name. I had to do it anyway, so I figured make a quick tutorial. It's pretty simple, but... Um, so we go over here down, you're logged in, you go to your settings, go down here to sender authentication, and then you want to authenticate your domain. And then if you have a DNS host, it can make it a little easier, but if you're not sure and just want to do it this way, if I'm not sure, uh, you want to brand links for the domain, always choose that because you're going to end up configuring it later anyway. Um, so we're going to do, uh, we're setting up uh, Comcast Refund, if I can spell, dot com. And then advanced settings, uh, just use the automated security for now. You're probably not going to need anything else. So ComcastRefund.com, it's going to give you some links for some C names, and so you're just going to have to copy and paste. I use DigitalOcean, so I can come over to my control panel. I'm in the DNS records for it. Come over here and click C name, and then I'm going to copy and paste this. It gives you the full one, but since DigitalOcean automatically appends your domain name, you want to take that off. And then this is the second field is the alias of it. Just come back over here, copy the alias for the first one. And then it's more of just copying and pasting this point, so slightly tedious, but it's what it is. So you go through this, copy and paste them, and I'll do that so you don't have to slowly watch me do it. Alright, so we finished typing in uh, all, the, all those records that we had, all five of them. So now what you do is come over here, scroll to the bottom, I've added these records, you click verify, uh, sometimes it takes a minute, so you literally give it a couple minutes. If it's verified, just say, oh look, it worked. And then, boom, you've authenticated your domain name with SendGrid. Just a quick, simple tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.